When the first handheld gimbal was launched, many of us wondered if it's possible to put this kind of technology right into a camera. Turns out, it wasn't that easy. As a result, we saw years of advancement in the gimbal market. With high-quality cameras shrinking in size and weight, the one-hand gimbal became a standard over the last few years. At the same, drone-making company DJI kept advancing the technology further and further. They developed high-quality image transmission and learned to build proper interchangeable camera modules into their drones. Finally, here we are in 2021, when DJI combined all of these technologies with their newly launched Ronin 4D, a built-in full-frame camera with a built-in gimbal. And in this video, we are here to find out what it has to offer. So, let's get started. Right from the look, you can tell that DJI has taken its time to build and it didn't compromise at all. The build quality of this camera is solid and seems like it can take a beating. Even though it has a built-in gimbal, it does not feel flimsy at all. It's because the body of the Ronin 4D is made out of aluminum magnesium alloy and the Z-axis arm is built from carbon fiber. In terms of specs and features, the built-in camera of the Ronin 4D is called the Zenmuse X9. It features a full-frame sensor with interchangeable lens mounts for DJI's DL and Leica's M system. There is also a 9-stop mechanical ND filter for controlling exposure in the sun. The 6K model can record video in 6K at 60 frames per second, as well as 4K at 120 frames per second. The 8K model, on the other hand, is capable of recording videos in 75 frames per second at max resolution. Both the 6K and 8K models support Apple ProRes 422HQ, ProRes RAW, as well as standard H.264 codec. At the heart of the Ronin 4D, there is Cinecore 3.0, a chipset that DJI is calling the most powerful cinematic imaging platform to date and can capture 8K RAW video footage with precise color accuracy, low latency image processing, and more. Moving on to the 4-axis gimbal, DJI says that the Ronin 4D has been designed with an innovative Z-axis to eliminate vertical shake effectively. This should further reduce the shake from the camera operator while walking and even running. Furthermore, the Ronin 4D features three different autofocus modes including manual, auto, and a new automated manual focus mode. The latter two modes use the onboard LiDAR rangefinder to track subjects in situations where traditional autofocus might not work due to a lack of proper lighting. In addition to that, both the cameras come with a wireless monitoring system to remotely control the settings of the camera and gimbal movements from a range of up to 20,000 feet. As for the battery backup, according to DJI, the Ronin 4D can provide up to 2.5 hours of shooting time and can be fully charged within just 1.5 hours. No doubt the Ronin 4D is made for professionals in mind and despite that, it still looks like a desirable piece of hardware. The 6K model costs $7,199 and the 8K version is $11,499. That's actually cheap in the realm of production cameras and stabilization systems. For instance, the Cinema Focus Ronin 2 costs over $8,000 without sporting any built-in camera and the PXW FX9 6K camera from Sony cost $11,000 just for the body. According to DJI, the 6K version will be available in December and the 8K version will be available at a later date. Unlike DJI's Osmo camera, gimbal system as well as lower-end Ronin gimbals the Ronin 4D is not aimed at consumers but professionals. DJI's hopes for Ronin 4D being a cinema camera, it'll be interesting to see what kind of professionals pick it up. For now, this definitely seems like it'll be perfect for anyone looking to shoot fast-paced footage like documentaries or commercial films. 
DJI is even working on getting Netflix classifications, so the Ronin 4D should be an amazing option for filmmakers looking to shoot an original for the streaming service. So that was all about the DJI Ronin 4D. And from all these discussions, it's pretty clear that DJI has made some serious innovations with the new Ronin 4D. Although it was obvious, coming out from a company that makes drones and gimbals, it still amazes us how a 15-year-old company became a big contender in the camera and drone industry. We are really happy to see them stepping into the cinema camera realm. And we will not be surprised if we see DJI making camera-centric smartphones to show others how it really should be done. Fingers crossed for that. So, what's your thought on this? Let us know in the comment section. 